Hello, today I'm going to show you how to do a data dive. So, assuming you've already gone to happycounts.org and you've already set up your group survey, you've already logged in and set up your group survey, when you go to your group, and you go to My Happiness Groups, it'll look something like this. So you'll see my survey, my happiness groups, and you'll see that you have created your group. Maybe you've even added questions. And now you've conducted your survey and you have at least five people have taken your survey. So you want to see your results. Now you can always hit my group, the group results here and that will give you your group's results and the scores for everybody else who's taken the survey. So when you see this, you're going to see some scores for your group and your scores for how your group compares to everybody else. Note that these scores are a running average, so they're over time. They're not for a snapshot in time. I'm going to show you how you can do a snapshot in time, but if you do want to use these, all you have to do is click that button and now you can download. You can download this high charts and you can also see your data in numbers. You'll be able to download all of that. Okay, but that's not what I want to show you today. I want to show you how to do a data dive. So, in order to do a data dive, of course, you're going to click the data dive function. So now I've already got my data dive set up. We ask for a donation for a data dive. If you can't pay for that donation, just contact me. So just contact info, I-N-F-O, at happycounts.org, and that will get to me, Laura, and to um, other people who can help you to give you a coupon for part or all payment. All right, so now I want to do a data dive. So this means that I want to look at my data in a ter certain time, and there might be some different things that I want to do a data dive. So for example, so this is my happiness group that I've created. This is for my directors. So I might want to see how my directors compare in their scores from this year to last year because my board has changed a little bit. So I, I ask my board every year to do their survey. So to do the survey. So I start with, I'll start with January 2016, the first, and I will go to the present time. And then now I, what I can do with this, if I want, is I can go ahead and I can do what we call, I'm scrolling down here, download the full data. So when I click that, I'm going to end up with an Excel spreadsheet. So that's going to download. It's coming out. Off. You can't see it in the screen, but here it is. Let's see if I can click it up. Yep, there it is. So you can see that Excel is opening up, and I am going to have, you'll see here, I'm going to be able to see um, every single person who took the survey and what their scores are for every single question. And you'll see that these scores are on a scale of 0 to 10 or 1 to 5. So I won't go into that. We're going to um, you're going to be able, be able to figure that out yourself, but that's one way that I can download the full data set and then I can start playing with, with that. And I can also obviously download it for different time segments as I showed you before. But let's say I want to do something different. I want to look at, just say if I want to look at how people of a certain aspect of demographics compare to other aspects of demographics, I can do that. So let's just say I wanted to see how people who um, had a certain marital status. Let's say I wanted to add that. So I wanted to look at people who are in a domestic partnership compared to people who are um, not in a domestic partnership. So I'm not going to go through all of these, but I could do this as many times as I wanted for as many different aspects of demographics that I wanted. So say I wanted to look at how people were of a certain age, and then I can pull out all of these different parts of age. So I'll choose somebody in my age range. I can include that. And then if I wanted to add more um, demographics, I could do that. So now I'd go ahead and, and choose my date range, choose it for the same one. Um, and then I could filter by domain. So I could look at how people who are in a domestic partnership and are 50 to 52 years old, how they, how they score in all the domains. Or I could choose it by a question. And now I'll be able to go ahead and go through and choose any single question. So maybe I'd want to look at you felt loved. So I'd look at the scores for that. So then that would go ahead and search. And then when I got, so there it is, it's giving me for um, the domain of social support, which is where that question about loved is. And so now I want to go ahead 
and download just that question and you saw that that came in a download. So this is um, these are some ways that you can get your data. So now once you have your data what can you do with your data? So now I'm going to show you a little bit about what you can do with your data. One of the things that we do is we use Tableau Public. So the issue of Tableau, Tableau oh I say it wrong, Tableau Public um, is that you it gives people access to all of your data so you may not want to do that but it's a good way to play with it if you want to look at um, some of the ways that you can portray it in visuals so if you go to our website happycounts.org and you go to the for researchers page you'll be able to see the data on Tableau public for all of the domains and all of the data for each of the years and I wanted to show you that um, you'll need to what's called cleaning your data so you'll need to go through your data you'll need to get it all on the same score um, so we, as I mentioned we have some of these questions are on a scale of 0 to 10 and some are on a question um, on a scale of 1 to 5 so you'll need to get them on the same scale um, and that's just math you know how to do that with an Excel spreadsheet so this is where I wanted to show you where I did this for a friend um, so he has been conducting a happiness initiative in Groton, Massachusetts as part of the Sustainability Commission. So I went ahead and did some of this for him where he's got a few people who have taken the survey in Groton and you can look at how a person could portray the data and how pretty that can be in Tableau Public. The nice thing about Tableau, Pu Tableau Public <laughs> is, is that it's free so you'll just need to sign up and then you can upload your data and you can start playing with your data and they have lots of great resources for how to learn how to play with your data. So I'm going to show you a couple other examples. Now we'll go back to the website happycounts.org and go to showcase and that's going to take you to the website of Wiki Progress, the Organization for Economic and Cooperative Development's Wiki Progress site where we have a page. They asked us to do this because we have so many different communities and researchers using our index. So I'm going to show you two examples. One is Creston, so we'll just click over here because I already clicked there. There it is, Creston, and they did a really beautiful report. What they did is, it has a little explanation here, they brought together um, five different governments from the district as well as lots of community actors, and then they put together this really beautiful report. Let me find it for you. That's, oops, <laughs> there it is. And you can see where um, they used their data to show some really beautiful graphics and explanation of their methodology. So there's some beautiful graphics there showing who took the survey, what percentage of, um, of the community took the survey, and then you can see some demographic, some de more demographics, as well as some visuals for the scores. And you can download this if you just go ahead and go to, uh, I'll show you one more time the path there, so you just go to Showcases, and then click on that, and that'll take you to the Happiness Alliance's Wiki Progress site. And there's um, Creston right there, and there's lots of other examples. So another example that I'm going to show you that we did when we first started in Seattle. This is the Seattle Area Happiness Initiative and Report Card. I already showed you this a little bit. But this is what we did in 2011 when we were working with the Seattle City Council when we first started this project before we decided to really focus on providing tools and resources um, internationally as well as nationally. So there's how we shared our report card for the domains with a little bit of ideas of how we compare it to everybody else and we had objective indicators too which are really important. I'll talk about that in another video. And then you can see where we looked at um, some of the trends and also some of our data, how we portrayed our data. So we used bar graphs and we looked at specific questions as well as domains. So that's a little bit about how you can, um, once you've created a, a group, let me go back to the groups, I can show you that again, how you can get your data, so you can get your data either from group results, um, we don't ask for any donation for that, you can just click that once you have five people have taken your survey, or you can do a data dive, which I think is really cool, and you can do all kinds of things with a data dive from getting their full set of data and playing with that to getting graphics for domains, um, for domains or for questions, uh, and um, and then playing with it in all kinds of different ways. So when you use your group, and when you get your data and you've done your report, please make sure to let me know. 
um, laura at happycounts.org or info at happycounts.org so that we can put you up on our wiki progress site and people can know about you and we'd love to help link you in. Thanks for watching and have a most wonderful day.